Let's check the markets if we can. Uh, we were up considerably, up 250 uh, points on the Dow. Now we're starting to reel on back. The Dow and S&P slightly higher. The Nasdaq just turned negative. Let's bring in our good friend David Barnson. Uh, let's begin with the jobs report, David. Good morning to you. What were, what were your reactions to what the August jobs report told us? Yeah, I think that it basically said about what we expected. It wasn't going to be as strong as July. We didn't think it was going to be a disaster. Um, I like the unemployment rate going higher. And you go, how could that be? Well, because it went higher with a little bit of improvement in labor participation force. I care about that number more than anything. I want more people coming in the workforce. And of course, once they're in the workforce, yes. you want them to find work too, but there's still a lot of job openings. So I'm not as worried about that. What I don't like is the couple million people that left the workforce during COVID and haven't come back, young people and older people. It's not good for our society. It really isn't. There are more than 11 million job openings. It's remarkable. But I want to move on because, as you know, you're our dividend guy. And I was looking at your notes, David. Uh, let's begin with Franklin Resources. Tell me about that uh, pick. Yeah, I love the ticker Ben, as in Ben Franklin. And ben Franklin. this is a really interesting <laughs> uh, asset manager. They've grown the dividend every year since 1995. And a lot of asset managers had to cut the dividend in the financial crisis or during COVID. It's a very disciplined company, diversified. They manage stocks, bonds, alternatives, great fee revenue. And it's a kind of business we like with over a 4% dividend yield, Ash. All right, I'm going to move on. I don't know how to pronounce it. Leandel Bissell. Uh, it's a company that does a little bit of everything. Tell me. Well, first, let me say you pronounced it a little better than Stuart normally does. So that's pretty good. Ash. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Lionel Bazell is in chemicals. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, it, basically, they do very well with natural gas liquids, and it leads to the manufacturing of products that we all use. And so it's a very important company, uh, very high dividend yield. But, you know, they're sensitive to commodity prices. When oil is higher, it generally should be doing better but the thing is, is natural gas is very high right now. So you have to take some volatility with commodity prices. But 5% dividend yield, they grow it every year. So even if you can't pronounce the name, Lionel Bazell belongs in your portfolio. <laughs> Lionel Bazell, got it. Uh, just on the markets overall, uh, David, we had a pretty rough August. Um, how do you look at the, this month, which is traditionally not great for the markets? First of all, I'm, uh, let me say about that, this thing about one month, traditionally not. Mm. Usually that means 70, 60 percent right. of the time, which means it means nothing. It really doesn't. Uh, you can have mm. a bad September, a good September. They used to say that about May. So I don't want people to worry about calendar superstition. Yes. What matters in September is how USC football does. Markets are going to respond <laughs> to fundamentals and earnings. This is the way it works. And, and um, look, at, August was a very good month the first two weeks. It was up over a thousand. Yeah, points. it was. In the last two weeks, it gave yeah. that back. There's volatility with the Fed right now, and people have to be used to it. It's going to continue, not way up, not way down, volatile. That's the type of market we're in for the foreseeable future. A mine of information, David Barnson. Thanks so much, David, for uh, joining uh, us on this Friday. Have a great Labor Day weekend. Thanks, Ash. You too.